<coughs> I'm Zbik. My name is Zbik. Full name is Zbik Rybczyński. I'm Polish American. I'm a filmmaker, inventor, computer programmer, an artist. I'm, I'm not sure who I am, but I got the actually the most important industry awards. Huh? We have Emmy, this MTV, including Hall of Fame, MTV, Oscar, many other, you know, like some this electronic film festival, Montreal, Tokyo, you know. Ah, this billboard, the, the different, you know, many, I don't remember even this all my awards. I think today an artist it should be somebody who can make a brain surgery, can fly, can fly, of course, F-16s, <laughs> can fly shuttle. When I saw that a normal PC, that we have uh, 60 million colors, I said, fuck, I have to learn computer programming. Because I started to be interested in, in optics, like in mechanics, in motion control systems. And I decided, no, because I see there is a lack of some that kind of solutions, I have to work on this, and I change to a technologist in mechanics, in optics, and make several patents. Yes, I make a thousand experimentation and build many systems how to make them in multi generation these images. I developed a special techniques that reflections of these all layers, this my, even my patent. It's been many years to improve all the things because. I want to have a perfect technical technical quality. There are movies which are, oh, great, fantastic movie. They are repetitious. They are sad repetitions. What do we know? I'm not saying I achieve something. Right? I'm trying. I'm trying. But I'm very proud of the old films which I didn't make in my life. Because I have many proposals to make these films, you know, which people will say, oh, fantastic, great. Majority of the films which I see today, I will make a suicide and if I will be a director of such film. I think the filmmakers killed more, <laughs> more uh, people than the normal criminals, you know, in an awful way. For me, film is everything that is visual, what is moving. It's a completely different method of making the film, so I have to learn that, I have to experiment with this. Suddenly it was appears high definition. I was the first who experimented with this technology. Yes, later through ten years I was only one filmmaker who had an own studio outside of Japan. All filmmakers, my co colleagues, they were saying this is bullshit. I couldn't speak even with many of them because they told I'm I, I have AIDS when I'm talking about electronics. Everybody rejected this. Even very famous people today who are embracing electronics, I had big conflicts with them. Because they publicly said this is end of the art, end of the civilization, end of the culture. They said, your brain is end. But now they are changing opinion. Because at the same time, you know, I never accepted this idea that movies are costing, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. For me, it's a scandal that, let's say, a film like uh, Avatar costs more than building a huge skyscraper. No, it has to be cheaper. And I started to work on this, how to make this with the best technology today, the best quality, te technical quality, how to make a movie in a garage. How to make this super special effects in the team of 10 people instead of 1,500 people. But uh, many filmmakers are thinking different. Maybe they are right. <laughs> so they are very famous and very successful. But for me, this is not no, no importance. Of course, the problem is time. Time, time, is a, which is a subject of my films also. But time is the worst problem for me personally. But you know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not planning on a journey. I will stay here forever, so <laughs> I think I have a lot of time. <laughs> My the biggest problem in life, there are devils which I met in my life. But uh, fortunately I met I met also many angels. Very people, great people who helped me a lot. 
but the biggest catastrophe is there you know, was people which were my partners which was you know people not honest it's human factor <laughs> human factor so to emigrant problem problem of an emigration complex you know are uh, like a like a leaf you know, it's difficult to to recognize who is who. And that human nature is the biggest obstacle. Human. I had an amazing studio, you know, in in Hoboken when I was in you know New York. I had the best on this time technology, the best team. My partners, you know, come back. One day I discovered 800 checks with forged signatures, my signature, my wife, you know what I mean. The same Germany, now the same Poland. Every dream is possible to, to realize, but it could be just <laughs> my dream.